Okay, this will be a simple flashlight uh, tutorial that you can use for like in your um, horror games and such. So I just added like a simple dark area here so we can visualize this flashlight. So first of all, um, let's add a part into this. I click this frame is to handle. This will be our flashlight just so you know. Um, so let's make this flashlight a bit like I'll make it a bit smaller. 0.3. 1.0.3 you can make your flashlight model yourself i'll just be using this as my flashlight um doesn't look pretty cool but uh, it will work for this tutorial also what is very important is you have to turn off can collide and also put under uh, you will see anchored you will also have to turn this off or else if you cube this uh tool you'll be floating in midair and you don't want that so also insert in workspace a tool which we will be calling flashlight. Inside of the handle, we would also put in a point light. This will be how the light. Um, okay, so in point light, let's change the brightness to two. Um, let's set the range to 10. And also very important, enabled, set this to false. So nothing is in there. Let's drag this in here. Let's also use this plugin again, which is called tool grip editor. You can find in here, edit tool grip. Let's rotate this like this and put this a bit down so your flashlight is like on top of the character. Yep, which is good. So let's drag this into starter pack. So if you play the game, you will see you have a flashlight in your tool and you have a small flashlight. But of course, this doesn't work yet. Let's do this right now. First of all, inside of your flashlight script, click on plus. Um, yeah, click on plus and add a local script. You can name this however you want. We will just do flashlight system inside of flashlight system let's first localize our tool local tool which is our script.parent then let's local our light is our point light which is a tool double point wait for child a handle and again double point wait for child our point light now we've localized our tool and light then let's local our player to see who clicked uh, flashlight equals game.players.localplayer and we'll also add a battery system which we will set to 100 so how this will work is if you turn on the flashlight the battery will drain slowly to zero when it's on zero your flashlight will turn off and when your flashlight is off then your battery will increase all the way to 100 uh, and then let's add another local which will be a, boost, a boolean value using flashlight which we will be setting to false because if the player enters the game you're not using your flashlight okay let's make a function local function toggle flashlight so first of all we gotta check if the battery if you have a better percentage so if the battery is above zero then let's do using flashlight is not using flashlight that means if this is false it will invert it so if this is false this will become true if this is true this will become false light not enabled equals using flashlight so let's say your it is false first we'll check if you have the battery okay we do have this false we'll turn it into true and it'll set this value to true because this will be true because of this next of all let's do a uh, game dot get service uh, run service i'll point render steps uh, not render step i'm sorry no point connect function and then nothing inside of this so what is render step what is a run service so in this function each tick of the game we will do something but do not light this game out we will only do this if you are using the flashlight then battery uh equals battery minus let's say each tick you will lose 0.1 uh percent so let's say yeah, only this much of your battery. Uh, if battery is greater or equal to zero, then battery equals to zero. Light.enabled equals to false. Using flashlight equals to false. So let's say you're holding your flashlight, you keep turning it on, and when the battery is below zero, even if you're running have it on, it will manually close it for you. Then let's add an else function. If battery is higher than 100, then, or let's say lower than 100 and you're not using the flashlight then the battery will slowly increase let's say by 0.05 then let's just also print our battery percentage so in the output window we will see how much battery percentage we still have left so tool.activated equals to 
Uh, activate it, a couple points, connect, now go flashlight. Now everything should work perfectly fine. Let's play this. We have our flashlight here. If we click, we turn it on, and you can see it will slowly go up to 100. Let's click this for 5 seconds. You will see we are already at 18. What I will also do is now I will keep turning, keep this flashlight on until it drains out. Still not drained yet. It's drained, you see? And then it's uh, manually turn it off i didn't even click and it's um it's refilling our battery percentage then if i click again it will be on this is my simple flashlight system of course the model will be in the description below also if you want to know how you can do this the plugin will also be in the description below to follow along i will also explain how the model works so the model will be something simple it will just be the flashlight what you just do is you drag the flashlight into your starter pack and that's how you do it. Simple as that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.